I want to keep things moving. It's time for FOMO. Let's talk Microsoft. The stock has crossed into positive territory now as the overall market has gotten its legs under it. All four major indices in green territory now, even the NASDAQ and uh, bond market holding firm as well. So uh, kind of a nice day here brewing for equity bulls. Um, and oftentimes, it's not always the case. If you see green in NASDAQ, S&P, Dow, you got a good chance that you look over and you see Microsoft in green as well. Yeah, Microsoft a major player, a pivotal player, I, I would argue, in terms of the tech-heavy NASDAQ. The indices in general, to Alex's point, I mean, it tends to uh, be a pretty good direct, uh, indication of what the market's doing here. Uh, I did see that, uh, well, the information reporting, uh, citing a person with direct knowledge, said that Microsoft plans to unveil their first chip designed for artificial intelligence at their annual developers conference. Now, that's going to be a November, it would obviously lessen Microsoft's reliance on the NVIDIA products, the AI chips, and uh, keep in mind, they've seen supply shortages, they've seen spiking demand for those chips. The chip uh, is designed for data centers, essentially, that are trained and, uh, or that train and run these large language models, the software basically that's behind the AI features that we've been talking so much about, the chat GPT, the open AIs, and, you know, I think of Microsoft uh, kind of similarly what we were talking about at the beginning of the show, Alex, uh, in terms of the NASDAQ hanging out, yeah, on the day right now, uh, fractionally higher, just above 15,000, considering some of the headwinds that the investors have been faced with, whether you're talking in the indices or some of these individual tech stocks. I mean, I think that they should consider current levels a win in many ways. You've got rates that have been at extremely elevated levels. We've seen a huge run up that the market, for the most part, I mean, one could argue is sustaining, right, holding these upper levels. So definitely, again, the narrative could change on a dime if we were to see yields continue to extend to the upside. But at these levels, I think it's a pretty positive narrative still. Call me chart skeptic at times here, Ben, but uh, even my armchair technical can look and uh, something changed in the middle of July. I mm -hmm. mean, just basic, you know, higher uh, or, you know, lower uh, highs, lower lows seems to be intact for this name, even when it's, with its recent bounce the last few sessions since peaking out in the middle of July. Has any true technical damage been done yet, or is this just, as you kind of describe it, that vertical, then horizontal phases? Or are we just in the most recent of these horizontal phases? You know, I looked, uh, uh, Alex, at some of the price activity we've seen, and, and what stood out to me is how shares bo double bottom back in the fall of last year at the beginning of this year, down around 220. The stock rallied uh, to a July high, just shy of 370, up around 367. It's been mostly sideways since. Earnings this spring, uh, back in April, sent the stock above 300 for the first time in a year, but the move which we saw uh, the November 2021 high being taken out kind of fizzled. And again, I think you can tie this up to, well, there you can see a very similar pattern in terms of the run-up and uh, price activity that's been sideways, not only in the bigger picture, but also on the intraday here. And chalk it up to rates. There's a lot of focus on the move up. We saw last week the yields 5% in the third year. We had talked a little bit at the top of the show, name like Zscaler uh, that had traded upwards of 380 a share was down in the 170s given back over half of its value this name Microsoft that is not in the same boat in terms of performance this is a name that had actually set a new all-time high uh, in mid-July it has given back about 10 percent of that move but we are within two three percent of where we were uh, when the market topped out in November December of 2021 so it's been a really impressive comeback off its lows as you talked about that double bottom mm -hmm. this stock got down to 200 and it looks like let's call it 213 214 bucks back in October share. of last year yeah it has come a long ways in a hurry given its size and scale so really impressive comeback 